Number 10, Ricky McCormick. On June 30th, 1999, in the middle of a field in St. Charles County, Missouri, the body of a young man named Ricky McCormick had been found. 72 hours earlier, McCormick had been noted as missing, despite that his body was already very badly composed. It wasn't until 2011 that the FBI revealed that they had found two notes in McCormick's pocket. These notes were written as a complex cipher that the high school dropout could never have written. The cipher and Ricky's mystery have never been solved. Number 9. The Hagley Wood Skeleton In 1943, a group of boys were illegally hunting in Hagley Woods in the UK. They stumbled across a hollow elk tree that hid the skeleton of a young girl. They reported the skeleton to police and upon closer inspection, they found that the girl's mouth had been stuffed with silk. There had also been a gold wedding ring and a shoe hidden within the tree. Later that year, graffiti began to appear questioning who put Luella down the winch elm. To this day, no arrests have been made regarding the Hagley Wood skeleton and the question has never been answered. Number 8. The Oakville Blobs On August 7, 1994, the residents of Oakville, Washington were treated to a strange translucent set of jelly-like blobs falling from the sky. They were reported to be half the size of a grain of rice each. Tests by the Washington State Department of Ecology claimed that the blobs had once been alive, with some hospital lab technicians later going on to say that they contained human white blood cells. There are many theories ranging from bioweapon testing to airplane waste to even a scam by the residents of the town, but there has never been an official answer to the case of the Oakville Blobs. Number 7, Ditla Pass. On February 2nd, 1959, nine ski hikers died in the northern Ural Mountains of Russia. The tent had been ripped open from the inside and five of the hikers died near it. The other four sported significant injuries which included fractured skulls and broken ribs. One was missing her tongue and eyes. Strangely enough, there were no external injuries to the bodies. When the clothing of the hikers was tested, high levels of radiation were found. Declassified files later revealed another group who camped 50 kilometers south saw strange orange spheres floating in the night sky. Could aliens have been the cause? Number 6. The Wow Signal The Wow Signal was detected in 1977 during an SETI project. The signal was a super strong radio signal that came from deep space and has never been picked up again. It lasted for 72 seconds, which was the maximum length of a time the Big Ear Telescope could observe. Many scientists claim that the length and intensity of the pattern point to extraterrestrial origin, though this has never been confirmed. Number 5. The Feet of the Northwest Seaboard Between August of 2007 and February 11, 2016, over 16 dismembered feet, still clad in their socks and shoes, washed up somewhere along the northwest seaboard. Only one foot has been identified in July of 2008 and belonged to a man who was depressed and likely killed himself. These events are not the first cases of dismembered feet in the area. On July of 1914, the Vancouver Sun reported that a human leg encased in a high boot was found near the mouth of the Salmon River. The feet of the Northwest Seaboard remains a mystery to all to this day. Number 4. The Solway Spaceman In the summer of 1964, a fisherman from Carlisle took a picture of his daughter and what looked like a spaceman walking around behind her. Jim Templeman, the photographer, claims that the man in white had not been there before when he took the photo, and many analysts have stated that the photo is not fake and has not been tampered with. Templeman also claimed that he was visited by two men in black who only identified each other as number 9 and number 11. A link was also made to the planned launch of a missile in South Australia. When scientists at the site saw the photo, they reported seeing two men in the firing range who looked identical to the Solway spaceman. The missile planned to be launched had in fact been built at an RAF base only a few miles away where the Solway spaceman picture had actually been taken. 
Number three, the Voynich Manuscript. Named after Wilfred Voynich, who bought the book in 1912, the Voynich Manuscript has been dated back to the early 15th century. It is a book written by hand and illustrated in a language that is entirely unknown. Though it has been studied by many cryptographers, no one has cracked the code. The illustrations divide the book into different sections, herbal, astronomical, cosmological, pharmaceutical, and recipes. The illustrations have baffled experts. Many of the drawn plants seem to resemble any known species. Some believe it is a hoax, but most state it's too complex to be fake. Number two, the Pollock twins. In 1957, two sisters, Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock, were both killed in a tragic car accident. A year later, their mother gave birth to two twins, Jennifer and Gillian. Jennifer, the younger twin, had scars and birthmarks on her body that matched Jacqueline, the younger sister of the deceased. The twins began to ask for toys that belonged to the deceased girls that they themselves had never seen before. One day, they wanted to go to a park they haven't been to, but the deceased sisters had been to. At one point, the girls played a game in which Jennifer had laid down on the floor with her head in Gillian's lap and pretended she was dying. Gillian said, the blood's coming out of your eyes, and that's where the car hit you. The scary thing about this was that the parents had never discussed the incident with the twins. At the age of five, the odd behavior stopped and the girls grew up as happy, normal kids. Number one, flight MH370. The biggest, strangest, unsolved mystery in the past decade is the mystery of the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. With no bad weather or technical issues logged, the disappearance of the MH370 flight stumped experts from across the world. The flight disappeared from air traffic radars an hour after takeoff, though it was still tracked by Malaysian military radars as it departed westwards from its planned flight path. Nothing was found of the craft until late July in 2015 when a piece of debris confirmed to be the Flaprion from the plane washed up on a reunion island. Multiple small pieces of debris have been found, but the bulk of the airplane is still nowhere to